critical when it comes to outlasting any type of severe weather. People throughout the area busy preparing so they can stay indoors when that ice storm hits. 41 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie is live outside right now. A high V on State Line Road. And Ali, last night bread was the hot commodity. People couldn't get the bread. They're carrying the bread out to the car. Uh, are people out there stocking up today? What have you seen? Yeah, we've seen a lot of people stocking up, basically on the essentials. You can see this parking lot is starting to clear up, but earlier today, it was hard to find a spot. Today, inside High V on 76 and State Line, team members worked vigorously to keep the shelves stocked. We're doing pretty well. We got all hands on deck today, so um, we're trying to hang in there. We're moving the lines pretty quickly, and, and we're hanging in there. Some shoppers could not help but wonder just how bad this ice storm will be. Uh, they say it's not supposed to happen, but uh, you know, you never know. The National Weather Service says people can expect to see ice accumulating more than what people are used to. So, in this particular ice storm, we don't expect those temperatures above the surface to be all that much warmer, uh, such that we do expect when the liquid hits the cold surface, it will freeze. So, we expect an accumulation of up to maybe a half an inch of ice in the metro. That's why people stocking up are playing it safe rather than sorry. I lived in California for 50 years, so I'm not sure what to expect, and it's a little bit uncomfortable. Now, a lot of schools today were either canceled or delayed. We reached out to Kansas City Public Schools. They said that even though the ice storm didn't hit around the time that they were letting out, they wanted to be safe rather than sorry. Live in Kansas City, Allie Hoxie, 41 Action News.